Hey, what's up guys? This is Camden and I just finished teaching two lessons online with Palfish and one of my students I've had almost three years now. The class goes so quickly, I wish I could have two classes with him. But amazing student and it's all conversation based. The student loves to ask questions. So just a key piece of advice here is as you start to teach English online, as you build up relationship and trust and a good reputation with your students, as time continues, you're gonna know a lot of history about that person and they're also gonna know a lot about you. And that's really a great feeling to have because sometimes some of the classes can feel repetitive. That's why creativity and thinking in the moment about experimenting and trying something new is a great way to keep things fresh and exciting in the lesson especially with students who are ages four, five, and six, because face it, your, quest, your ability of questions and answers and phrases and expressions that they know and can comprehend are very, very low. Sometimes I'll be very impressed when they can say nice to meet you very quickly, but again, you know, when you have a situation like that, which it all encourages you and teaches you to become a better online instructor, through voice projection. And when you have a student that you've had for three years, it's like, it's such, it's almost like it's not teaching, and I don't wanna say that, but especially this one student, because he is very outgoing, he loves to ask me questions. And so when I'm in the lesson with him, I'll ask him some questions, and he's an all-star student, even at his school in Zhejiang, which is a province in China. So also a very important quick tip of advice, start to know where your students are, not just Beijing and Shanghai, but become very familiar with the entire geography of China. Very, very important and key to your future success as an online instructor, there's no doubt about it. And you still need to start learning Mandarin. You need to start learning Mandarin. And a, a quick bonus, if you download the student version of Palfish at the top, as for after you've entered in your information, you can scroll over to other languages and they have a lot of Chinese teachers. And I've taken one, I think two classes officially on the student app with a native speaker, I believe from Beijing. So anyway, just things that you need to do if you wanna make it long-term. And the more you know about the culture and the language, uh, the, the Mandarin language, the more you know about the Chinese culture, holidays and customs and scheduling of things, especially the school scheduling of the year and summer vacation and holiday vacations, like the Chinese New Year, like Dragon Boat Festival, which is the next big one on May 5th, I believe, which is actually my favorite Chinese holiday that I really like to celebrate. The story is really cool. It's kind of magical. And they also get to eat the sticky rice wrapped in, I believe it's a banana leaf. So really great festival and it's really cool to watch the people do the rowing competition in the water. So these are all things that you can share with your students. Now, let's say you have a really young student. You can still have a picture. You can still have something ready to go on your photos or you can print out a picture or have a dragon behind you. Learn how to write Dan Wu Jia, you know, Happy Dragon Boat Festival things like that are going to take you into an it's going to take you into a new arena of students and retention of students and also your reputation is going to grow because a lot of my students have been recommended so i would say 35 to 40 uh, 40 is too high but 30 to 35 percent right now of all my students have been recommended by their friend it's like hey i have this teacher you know he's really great or she is really great, and I really think you should learn with them. And so, boom, and I'm like, hey, do you know this student? I'm like, oh my gosh, how do you how do you know? Oh, we're in the same class. So you never know where a simple, writing something in Chinese, how something simple like that, even though it's not something that's a requirement or even necessary, but you have to be willing to go the next, the next step. So. A lot of great tips right there. Just wanted to share that. Um, anyway, so right now I am teaching 
in a room, in a room of course, it's my wife's aunt's room. And we just, at, in my room right now, it's just like, literally it's not even a half a mile. Like I just get in the car and drive like two minutes and I'm at the house, at her mom and dad's house. And so um, that's interesting living at, in a Thai home with my wife's family. And it's of course different, but I like the challenge and I like the environment because it's, it's really warm, it's really hot here in Isan, Thailand. It's super hot actually. And even better, I just met with a company, Text and Talk, who I've talked about in some videos already, but they are a TEFL school in Bangkok. And on April 1st, they're gonna finally open up their online course for everybody and I'm super, super stoked about that. I, they drove five hours to come here and I'm sure I'll be talking about this a lot more in future videos because, well, on Palfish alone, already over 40 people have ha have the opportunity every day to become a better teacher and to earn financial income. So I like teaching online. I like sharing these videos. And I also like recruitment. I think it's really fun because it's, if I was just teaching, it would not be enough. It would not be enough fulfillment for me because I like diversity and I like the interaction of new people and a diverse crowd. So the more I get to study, the more I get to analyze and speak and listen to different people from all parts of the world, it makes me a better person inside and more relatable. It helps me become a better communicator and all these things you gotta start applying. You don't have to become a recruiter but you have to learn how to talk to your students outside the lesson. You have to learn how to message them and promote yourself through live lessons and to promote yourself through video moments, not just pictures, you know. Palfish is not Facebook. Palfish is not a social media platform. It's a place where an instructor can get, you know, log on, do, you know, get verified and basically just immediately start to teach. That's what happened to me. I downloaded, I followed the steps and then boom, got my first call the first night and I was like, whoa, is this real? It's real. So I like recruitment and I don't want to use the name brand ambassador, but that's what they wanted me. That's what they want me to do. And I think that's great. I met with the people. It's like four people who drove here from Bangkok. Uh, one gentleman from South Africa and the other three people are one one girl is i think i believe full thai and the two other ones are like their mom their mom is thai and their dad's american so and some of them have lived in america so it was a really great diverse crowd and then my wife came with me and we just sat down and talked for two hours had a few drinks had some lunch and over 40 people already have filled out the inquiry form to take a TEFL certification course with the one that is in my links, in my description. You can click into the link and every time people ask me about it, I share it on Messenger, I share it with people on email and you can find it. So to have them offer a, co a course online is really going to allow more people to have the freedom because I don't wanna just hold and keep all this for myself. Like if I wasn't putting out these videos, it would be very selfish of me to just sit back and look, everybody's got their own mission, but I feel like a part of my mission is not just instructing kids, not just instructing students, but sharing what I'm doing because it's not like I'm here to sell a pillow. You know, I'm not here to sell a pillow or glasses, like a product. I'm basically sharing my experience and as this whole thing has evolved for me, I'm basically sharing tips, my life, my journey, I like to freestyle, I like to go off the top of the head, I don't like all these perfectly edited videos and stuff like that and scripted and you know, being perfect with your you know, semantic and syntax and you know, all that stuff. I just like let it come off the top because people can relate to that more and I'm okay with my YouTube channel patiently growing, I'm okay with not getting a million likes or a million views or whatever that is. I'm happy with the people that are watching my videos and messaging me and commenting and 
asking me questions because it feels so good to give back to the community because whew, wow, it's just so many things. I'm just inside. I feel so good. I feel so happy. It's like I, this is the place that I've always dreamed of throughout my 20s and I finally have gotten to this level and to this place in my life and I still have to press on and open up to the next challenge. But right now in this moment on Saturday, it feels absolutely amazing and thank you God and thank you guys all for supporting this channel and I'm just gonna keep going, as should you. So, you know, there's a lot of people that have been messaging me on Palfish and on Messenger and I wanna say thank you and I do my best, you know, like, I'm just a teacher on Palfish. Like, I don't do the hiring process. And so many people, like, complain and blame me. And it's like, yo, I'm just up here doing some YouTube videos. And I'm just trying to help some people. Like, literally, just trying to help people. That's all I'm trying to do. And if people are going to hate on me for that, then that's their own business, you know? But I'm just going to be here doing what I love to do. And that's sharing my journey with you guys. As weird as that seems, the people I've never even met and probably will never meet. But it takes one video and one person watching that video to listen to me for 10 seconds and say, I don't want to listen to this guy. He's talking too much. What does he got? Boom, boom. Description. Oh, link. Teaching us online. Oh, TEFL certification. Boom. And then maybe a month later, he or she will message me, which has happened. Hey, I just want to say thank you so much for your YouTube channel. And I'm a teacher now, and I'm making over $1,000. And I just really want to say thank you. Done. And I'll message them back really quickly because they were polite. They explained their history really quickly and not just the boom, super long message. And... I, it's just amazing. So when you get a message like that, it's like you have to keep going. It's like the motivation and it gives you fuel. So anyway, I'm not lonely. So don't worry. I know I don't know you guys, but I'm just having a great day. And the more I believe people can upload happiness, you know, we don't need to be robots, you know, and... There's something amazing about the human spirit, the heart and the brain. And it's like, we have got to learn how to, t that's why I love teaching because the new generations that are coming up, you know, we have got to tap into their talent and to their strengths. And I hope there's a huge education reform, like all around the world, America, China, Australia, you know, that's a might be a dream or a fantasy. No, it's not a fantasy. It might be a dream, but I have hope in that because everybody knows that people are over tested, like with examinations and all this stuff. But, like, what about the children who would be much better at an apprentice or vocational school? Or, you know, for me, no, anyway, I don't want to talk too much, but for me, for example, like, I did great in elementary school because I was on Ritalin and I was like robot, you know? But middle school, I got off it and then high school was all about swimming. So I could care, I could care, I could have cared less about school. I like missed so many classes my junior year and senior year in high school. Like, I didn't read any books. I didn't finish one book my whole high school career. And I'm not bragging about that, but I'm saying like, if the guidance counselors and the teachers and the whole system did a better job at finding out what they're good at. And it's okay if someone changes their mind 10 times, you know, that's great because they're gonna find out what's best for them at one point. But not everyone's meant to sit in an hour and a half lecture of algebra two or geometry or English or foreign language, you know, it's like, but again, it's just, Anyway, I just have a lot of aspiration and I have a lot of ambition and I just, the things that I see in my mind and I really hope that children can be set free and having a, a zone of safety and 
comfort. And of course there's the challenge and the uncomfortable, but you know what I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? And allowing kids to tap into their true ability, their God-given ability. And that's why I'm a teacher. And it also, you gotta, I've learned not to push things onto people so much. I used to push veganism on people. I used to push this on people and it always backfired on me and caused a lot of turmoil. And now, because of my wife and being here in Thailand, people are much more reserved and not so much in your business. That's also changed my attitude and my behavior and my reality. And anyway, that's why I just want to close this on this point in a good way. That's why I recommend teaching English abroad. I mean, I'm up here 15 minutes. And so anyway, I had cut some other edited videos of like a uh, restaurant that I went to. And anyway, I might put that in this video. But I just want to say to everybody out there, that's why not just traveling and stuff like that, but teaching English abroad, teaching English online is a great career. It provides freedom and flexibility, a lot of job security. It really does. And great financial revenue. Well, I mean, what can I say? And it's all about how you apply yourself. It's like when you're working at a school, things are going to be on a check-based salary. But with online, you're a freelancer. You're an independent contractor. So if you don't teach, you don't make money. But if you're good and you work yourself up to 10, 12 classes a day and you can manage that four to seven days a week, well, you got a great chunk of change on your hand. And so, anyway, hope you're having a great day and hope you stay healthy, happy, and focused on your mission. And thank you for your time because I just spoke a long time. But anyway, gonna upload this video right now and if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any comments, let me know below. And don't forget to check out the description. Lots of great links. And hopefully I'll have more great links to come soon like teaching online equipment. We'll see if that happens, if I open up an Amazon store, I don't know. But my focus right now is to palfish, focus, you know, family, wife, palfish, and helping people become online teachers and teaching English abroad and giving advice and making these great YouTube videos for everybody out there all around the world. And go electric cars. I don't know about you guys, but did you guys see the, the Model 3, the Tesla Model 3 online delivery? Oh my gosh, that's amazing, right? $2,500 down payment. They can order it online to your house in the USA, 350 kilometers before the next charge. I think it's just amazing. I really want an electric car. What about you? Let me know below. Guys, have a good one. Thank you so much.